Safety experts are meeting in London to hear how work is going on making the planes safer. They've been grounded since the Air France crash in July, which killed 113 people. And air accident investigators say that crash was caused by a burst tyre which shattered the plane's fuel tank. ITN's Sue Saddle has been following today's meeting. Sue, what can you tell us about what happened this morning? Well, those at the meeting, the British and French Airlines and the Air Authorities say it was a very positive meeting. It is part of ongoing meetings towards getting Concorde in the air, but now they are edging towards it. What they've come up with are key modifications for safety. They say that is absolutely paramount. They're looking at putting Kevlar linings in the fuel tanks, as used in Formula One, as used in some military um, equipment. They're also looking at making sure they protect all ele electrical wiring and basically protecting against any potential source of ignition because safety has to be the first issue. So, realistically, how soon could Concorde be back in the air? Well, British Airways won't be uh, putting their finger on that with an exact date, but industry sources are saying it is looking like March or Easter, if possible. They've really got an economic imperative to get this sorted before the summer. But, of course, there's then a the huge multi-million pound refit of the uh, fleet of seven Concords in Britain to be undertaken and a huge promotional campaign to get the public back on board because they've got to overcome those concerns about the safety uh, fears in this way. So it really could be some time. But uh, British Airways say they've been keeping the fleet ticking over in tip top condition and the staff are all um, up to condition in terms of the servicing of the fleet and they're up to standard they've been training on simulators and once the go-ahead is given they say everything will be ready to go Sue Savile, thank you the supersonic passenger jet hasn't flown on a regular basis since the Air France crash in Paris uh, this summer but BA is meeting safety experts this lunchtime to discuss modifications. The company says it hopes to have some planes ready to fly by Easter. Our transport correspondent, Simon Montague, is at Heathrow. Simon. Yeah, yes, George, it's here at Heathrow that the Concorde fleet has been grounded since the accident at Paris last July. But we've been given special access into the Concorde maintenance hangar behind me. British Airways says it's keeping the fleet of seven Concords in tip-top condition. The planes have been repainted, the cabins are being refitted and major maintenance is being done. But in the hangars here there are also vital safety modifications to be made. Fuel tanks in the wings will be fitted with Kevlar and rubber linings. That's to protect against puncturing by a bursting tyre. And electrical wiring in the undercarriage bays will be replaced with a reinforced system. That should remove any risk of a spark that might ignite leaking fuel. BA's pilots are confident Concorde will then win back its safety certificate and its passengers. For the regular Concorde business traveller, and 80% of our customers are business people, the ability to cross the Atlantic in 3 hours and 20 is irreplaceable. What they do in one day would otherwise take two, and what they can do in two would otherwise take four. And so they are really keen to see Concorde come back again but it'll be the British and French aviation safety authorities who decide when passengers can get back on board. We've got an enormous number of people who are regular customers of ours who've been with us before and who've been asking before the tragic accident about flights on Concorde. People who are still contacting us now, asking us for news and have been asking us when the aircraft's going to come back into service. British Airways hopes the answer is late March or early April, with the return to a full London-New York service by the summer. Well, today's meeting will look at all the modifications which are being proposed. The first modification kits should be arriving here at Heathrow next week, and British Airways certainly hopes to be underway by the end of the year with actually starting to fix Concorde. But, of course, in the end, it's up to the aviation authorities to give Concorde back its certificate of airworthiness, and that, hopefully, British Airways believes will happen before Easter. George. Simon, thank you.